Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Candice and we're gonna cook up some chicken today. Um, some chicken nuggets, my own version of uh, Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets because those are my favorite except for we're gonna use almond flour and yeah so I'm gonna I'm wipe down my counter and get all my stuff out and we will get to it all right so first I'm gonna get everything out that we need I'm going to use this chicken breast flour in a big jar. I just got the great value kind. Salt, onion, need a knife, and my cutting board. I need my cutting board. We're gonna do it in the air fryer. I just got this last week. Um, used it a few times. It's a little trial and error. Uh, but so far, so good. Oh, I need eggs. And I got, well, I already have one in this bowl. I've already cracked one egg into this bowl right here and there's a one piece of chicken already cut up in there from where I made chicken the other day and I didn't feel like finishing it <laughs> so it's still I went ahead and got that cut up and it's in the bowl which is, see I'm using a third a cup. I don't ever measure anything, I just scoop. So here's one, two, I'm gonna say three. And I probably won't use it all, but let's see that back in there. All right. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna turn this thing on and let it be heating up. Put it on 400 and I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on 20 minutes and that way it can be hot and ready when our chicken is. I'm gonna put some salt. And I'm gonna use some onion salt as well. Okay, the air fryer is kind of loud and it's hard to talk over it. So I'm just cutting the chicken up in small little cubes. 
I'm taking one egg and cracking it into the bowl and I'm going to mix that up. You just want to be sure all your chicken is very well coated. So as you can see, my chicken is well coated with one egg is really all it took for that much chicken. Now I've already got my almond flour into another bowl and I'm going to place my chicken. You don't want to have it like dripping with egg when you put it into your mixture, to your flour mixture, whether you're using almond flour or whether you're going to use regular flour. It just makes more of a mess and it doesn't really make them um, like crispier. If you want more batter around it, then you would need to double dip. So you could have another bowl with a beaded egg in it and then after you coated it once with your flour you would dip it into your egg batter and then back into your flour mixture again and that would give you like the extra crunch um, or the really thick uh, Now we're ready for our first batch to go in. Should be about warm enough. spray and I'm gonna spray the inside of the air fryer this camera around a little bit. What? So, never mind. So I've got them laid in the bottom like so. I'm just going to pop it back in there for 20 minutes. And while that is cooking, I'm going to go ahead and coat the rest of these.
Stop it. He didn't even do nothing to me. He walked away from me. was a little bit long so I cut it to 15 and I think that is about perfect a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe until next time peace